starting alignment is usually, you know, extended. He could, for rolling over, he could do it what way? What are the options? There's lots of normal efficient options for rolling. Could He could put his foot over here, right? He could have his knees bent, bend both knees. And he could just do, he could do knees and then arm, right? He could do arm and knees together, which we call a log roll. log roll. If he does knees and then arm, we call that segmental. Is I, do you want to have his, um, the side he's moving on, I want that arm to be out to the side. Set up with his arm in abduction and protection. The reason is when he rolls over and as he, just push yourself up. He then has access to that side, and he can slip that under and use that hand. Okay? And if this is his involved side, he can, he can use that, okay? okay? If you're here, come up. So this is his, this is his involved side. Wow, what great, you know, getting trunk control, he's getting extension, he's getting weight bearing through his hand that's not moving so much as his I'm going to say to you, and this is the setup. This is his preset that I like. And roll over. And he needs to put his hand down. So we're going to ask you just to come on up now. So what did he do first? Legs. So he did his legs first. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. What does doing his legs first help him with? What does it do? He puts his legs down. What does his legs do? It pulls gravity, his pelvis, right? So it's helping him move his his center of mass without using a lot of muscle, right? Because he's using basically gravity and a rather long arm, right? So the first, what would you say the first? So if you're going to go to the initiation, what's the first initiation? What's the initiation? Knee extension. Knee extension. And then, as he drops his legs down, he gets pelvic depression, and then he presses with the arm, and he gets lateral trunking. So that's basically, you can think about the efficient sequence that that would be there. Okay, go ahead and come on up. So he did, he did basically a very similar, he did a very similar motion. So what was his initiation? Extension, extension of the knees, a little bit more flexion. Um, pelvic depression, his trunk follows. Okay. What what did you notice about his um, trunk alignment? Do it again and sit up. He, he rotates a little bit, but what position does he keep his spine in pretty much? He keeps it flexing, he never gets out of flexion. If I'm watching him, that's very interesting to me. Why? And why what do you, what could you speculate about that? Okay, what do you notice with her? She, she didn't stay flexed. What? More extended. More extended. Right. So if you if you come up, just go on your side. If you come up and if you just bring your legs over, what's it doing to your pelvis? It's also bringing it into a little bit of your pelvic tilt. So what's that going to do to your spine? It's going to pull it into a little flexion. Then you start to come up, so you're already in flexion. But what does Neha do as soon as she gets her weight on her? Well, she automatically. Hmm. What would it, what would tight hamstrings do when you when you're conditioning? Or just in coming to sit and what would that do to your pelvis? Pull you, you into more close to your pelvic tilt. And what would that do to your trunk? Flex. Keep you more flexed. So I bet anything that Eric has tight hamstrings. <laughs> Starting on your back, rolling, and then transitioning to sitting. Right? So that's part of the movement. So tell me about the planes of motion. If you start on your back, back, and then you move into side, uh, you move into rolling to, onto your side. So what plane is that? Transverse. That's transverse, whether you do log rolling or segmental, right? However you initiate transverse plane. Okay, so then you're here, okay? So you're here, now what? What plane is next? So if I'm extending my legs, that's... That would be sagittal. sagittal. And then as I start to transition my pelvis and I'm pushing up. Frontal. 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 And then I could just stay here, but let's say my weight was a little bit behind me. Uh -huh. And then I went to sit up tall. Sagittal. sagittal. So some of the shifts in movement direction have to do with where your weight is and how you find your ending of the 
the neutral as truck you can get, feet on the floor, hands in, weight bearing, that's a good starting position. I mean, it'll be a more normalized starting position. <coughs> Does everybody, uh, can everybody attain this? No. No. What position do I want to get into first? Sideline. Sideline. Side so how would I do it? So sitting, shoulder, abduction, over break, down that weight together, and then you're going to go into elbow flexion. Some elbow flexion. And then I'm using this hand, and then my knees are going to start to bend. My pelvis. My pelvis is doing moving what? It's so some elevation. Remember, it was going to depression. So my pelvis elevates. My knees bend, and then once I get my legs on the surface, I complete the side uh, sideline position, and then I can log roll or segmental roll on the 